So, today we're at my house instead of at the shop because I got another box. This box is for the fish tank. So, basically with this kind of a tank, you gotta have super clean water and instead of having to go to the freaking fish store every two weeks now to get water, I'm gonna make my own water. Well, I get, I get, for my water changes, I get water from the inlet, which is not too far from me. But for top off this stuff, I need to have a constant source of reverse osmosis and deionized water, which is super, super clean. It's like not even good for you because they get so much of the crap out of it. Out of the minerals and everything are all completely taken out of the water. This is a four stage filter system from Bulk Reef Supply. And honestly, it's pretty badass. It's got a total deposit, deposited sediments or dissolved sediments meter, total dissolved sediments meter. And then it has um, the four stages of filtering, which get the water down to basically just pure water. So this hooks up with a bunch of different ways to your faucets and however you want to run it. So <clears throat> I'm just going to have it so I can put it under my sink in the bathroom here and just get it really quick. But anyway, figured I'd share, get this thing hooked up. Reef's really good. The water is like ultra clear now. I've got everything running pretty pretty efficiently. Efficiently, get it? Haha, <laughs> efficient. Okay, never mind. Alright, so I put in the adapter for the sink. This basically allows you to put the line onto it and it allows you to select between using the faucet normally and using it to make water. So this looks pretty simple. You got a feed line, a waste line, and then what they call a product line, which is basically what the good water comes out of going into your holding tank. So I'm just going to hook it up and make some water. All right. So it's hooked up. We got feed water, waste water, and then good stuff comes out really slow it's just a little trickle but it'll go about three gallons an hour and realistically I don't need to do this very often so that's plenty fast I'll be storing the water and then putting it into my reservoir for auto top off which is in here so as the tank gets lower it automatically senses and then fires off a pump that pumps water back into the tank. So there it is. You want super, super clean water. <clears throat> Let's see here. The house pressure is like 70 PSI, a little bit low. Lower. And then here's the TDS meter. The water going in is actually pretty freaking clean. It's only got 25 parts per million. 30 something yeah that's super good most places are like over a hundred but uh, you can see what's going out is zero so it's ultra clean water so there you go bulk grief supply check them out so I got my got the top off all done got all the water I need in it now your fireworks perfect. Shaw came over to say hi to my fish. He was. I, I didn't think the fish would survive. I mean, it's a pretty impressive journey that they made. He made it. They made it. We all made it. None, no, no casualties. Not one. Nope. But you know what the thing is? Is every time Jack gets something, I gotta get something. <laughs> so. <laughs> What'd you get? You're not even gonna be ready for this. I don't even know if the blog's ready for this. Shaw, Shaw, Shaw drove over in something. Let's All go right. see what he got. Oh, yeah. 
You know how I like trucks. Oops. What is that? What is that? The ultimate brown man machine. You can't be taken seriously in life unless you have a Hummer. <laughs> there it is. The H1 diesel. H1 diesel. Don't forget, it's fitted up with 37s. Jesus. Look at this grill. Dirt grip. This can go straight through any house. You think so? Might go through a couple buildings. Got too. this sweet ass intake stack. Oh yeah. This thing, this thing's baller. It's locked. Why would you lock it? I didn't lock it. We're locked out. This thing is sick. We gotta go out in this thing. Oh yeah. Look at this. There's a PS3 in here. Well, that's for the passenger. Look on the what passenger. What the fuck is this? A winch? There's a winch in the front. Oh man, my lens is fogging up. Yeah, because that's how cool this car is. Because it's, it's cool inside my house. What'd you say? Look at what? The winch is in the front. Jesus, look at this fucking... This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy truck. This is the most hilarious freaking cockpit. Oh yeah. It's like a... Like I want to say it's utilitarian, but then it's got some kind of trim going on with Listen, stitching. I took my girlfriend for a ride in it. She couldn't... She was mad because we couldn't hold hands because we were so far away. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm stretched out. Yeah. That's as far as I can reach. It's very, very wide. Very wide. Oh, yeah. And then this like beam in the middle just screams. And then screams. the whole thing shakes. Does it? Oh, it's just dumb. I, I love, you know, this truck is ri life. Ridiculous. That thing just shakes like you wouldn't believe. This thing has no business being on the road. Oh, you get a solid eight miles per gallon. We got switches. Look at the switches. It's like, Oh, inflate, deflate the tires. Yeah. Oh yeah, CCIS system. Of course, four by four, good stuff. It's got um, the PlayStation and the barbecue in the back. It's good for tailgating. And you know, like these things up here, this actually comes out as a tent. So the next time we do our next show, Jack. Oh, this is sick. We're we can pop this whole thing out and, and go camping. Uh, well, we'll make a canopy so people see us. This is this is this is sick. Oh yeah. Got yeah, it. 50 inch TV in the back. And, uh, wow. We should take my jet ski out. Just oh, pull, yeah. pull it with this. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Total overkill. You made it, Shaw. I'm not buying a Hummer. Okay. Not, not this time. It's, it's funny how low it is, too. Like, like you think it's like, it looks yeah. beefy, looks high, but it's not high. But it has like ridiculous ground clearance, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much ground clearance it has with these a lot. tires. But it has a lot. It's crazy. Just because the transmission is inside. Well, the whole thing, it's independent suspension. It doesn't have, like, the differentials aren't hanging low. So it's it's able to just go over everything. Those roll bars suck, but, I mean, the, the Nerf bars. Well, I mean, but they come right off. This is, like, not a... I don't know if we're going to use it for off-roading. Yeah. Last time, we went off-roading. Look, at, here's the tire inflators. Yeah, you're all sick. Inside. Sick. How much does this cost? I got it listed for 65 grand. 65? 65 grand, come and get it. It's only got 21,000 miles. Come and get it before we fucking destroy it. Well, that or we just don't sell it. This is not exactly the one that I want to sell. Like, no, no, this is cool. It, like it's we, can, we take this, can we take this downtown? You want to do it tonight? Yeah, let's do it. I think we can do it. All can right. I wear my full Arab garb? You, oh yeah, I'll wear it too. Oh yeah. Because we want to look legit. We want to be like full Arab money. Bring me, bring me some, yeah. Bring me, what do they call that white, the white stuff? The well, white I'm not, suit? I'm not that kind of brown. I'm a different kind of brown. I know, but we got to look a certain way. Yeah. We're not going to get, don't bring me some Indian yeah. shit. All right, I'll bring, <laughs> damn, I'll bring you a Shaw's, carpet. Shaw's Pakistani, so. Yeah, they confuse me with Arab. I want to look, I, wanna, I look Arab. I'm going to look Arab. I mean, I can look Arab. Okay, good. So let's do the Arab thing. It's a little, you know. I think we'll get, we'll pull more hose if we look Arab. Oh, we can just stick them on the roof rack. Even better. And All right. I want to get something up there. <laughs> yeah, there's like a special thing platform for the heels, for the hooker heels. They can stand. Oh, up. nice. It's got hooker heel guard. It's, you lock the heels in, and then they can flash people. But then they're stuck there. Well, you we want them stuck there. Yeah. Can we turn this into a cage up there? That would be sick. Like a like a stripper cage. Oh yeah. You know? Oh, we can put. Oh yeah. 
Michael, you know Michael would love that. We're not going to talk about that, but we can put a tiger in the top and then just drive down the street. Oh, yeah, that's sick. I like it. Oh, yeah. All right, so catch us downtown. Um, hey, we'll be there. Downtown tonight in the Hummer. It's going to be great. There's going to be some hilarity. We'll see what happens. We're done. We're done. That was horrific. Hit the like button. <laughs> that's excitement. One of these. Front finger. That's it.